Why, hello, YouTube. Um, I put a video out earlier, and some of you probably watched it, a few of you. It got to who it needed to get to. I now know. Uh, Al Bernstein, you know, big time Showtime boxing announcer and sports guy in general and asshole uh, started put a post on uh, on Twitter bashing Christians. Uh, now they bashed the Christians because the Christians were praying for Trump and. Uh, Evidently, to these atheistic Jewish people, like him, uh, like Al Bernstein, uh, maybe it's you don't have a right to pray to God, or or they don't like that you have the right to pray to God. Let's put that in a, in a better fold. Uh, or they just hate God. Uh, I tend to hold the views that they don't want us to have the right to worship Christ. Uh, they don't want a Muslim to have a right to worship Allah. They don't want anybody to have a right to worship anything except their dictate. Because really, when it boils down to it, they're just uh, pussy-ass communists. That's it. That's all it is. They're weirdos. Uh, you never see one that's handsome. You know, never ever do you see one that's handsome. They're always weirdos or mentally de mentally deficient, emotionally deficit, morally empty. And uh, but another atheistic one come in to join the fray to jump my ass uh, because I said I didn't like it. Uh, what good old Al boy was doing, and uh, that be Michael Buffer. Uh, the which one he said the one says let's get it on let's get it on. Uh, the pencil necked geek Michael Buffer is the one I think he says let's get ready to rumble. Uh, but they're both geeks. They're both done. Uh, I want to say something about good old. Michelle Buffer there though. Once you meet him, uh, he kind of looks like he's a handsome guy. You know, maybe he's manly in in a way. Uh, but when you meet this guy in person, you know you're meeting a candy, and you know you you're meeting a pencil headed, pencil neck geek, uh, weirdo, and uh, so. I, I've never liked this guy. Uh, liked him before I met him, and uh, you know, liked him before I saw him in person. Actually, now, it didn't take me in sight to watch him in person talking to somebody else to see what kind of a weirdo and effeminate pencil neck geek this guy was. Uh, but he come in and he started bashing all Christians, and here was his little take and that was uh we are the ones that burned the witches at the stake uh we're the ones that have done this done that uh and of course he means the muslims as well uh and other religions because they've done the same thing and uh, oh yeah the last thing and it is amazing he said that they judge homosexuals' moral pervertedness. So, I think the cows are coming home. I think the chickens are coming home to roost. And I think the closet door's opening. That's what I think. Uh, we all know who's who. Uh, I'm not no big man in boxing. I don't know everybody in boxing, but... I've been around the block, been to a lot of fights, uh, been around some champion uh, uh, 
world champion trainers. Uh, been around some world champions, but uh, I, I'm a little nobody. But I'll tell you what I am, and mm-hmm. that's a coward, and that's somebody that'll roll over and play dead to the locks, likes of those two sons of bitches. I'm not doing it. Number one, uh, I, I'm back in this game. Uh, pretty much working working at 15, 10 hours a day, 8, 12 hours, 10 hours a year, more there, back in this game. Well, why are you doing that? Because, number one, I want to see my son as, as a champion. Number two, I see what you can't see on the other side of that video, which is, this boy at 15 is hitting a lot harder than Mike Tyson hit at 15. Now, if you ask me why, I will explain it to you how I know why. How I know why. Uh, I can get into a long drawn out on that. And seeing and being around Mike at 15 years old. Right? Uh, so a dad's always got wishful thinking. He's always going to think better of his son a lot of the time than the, the, than the kid he is. Uh, that's not the case with me. I, I get shocked and surprised daily. Um, uh, yeah, there's no corner cut and crap going on. So I'm, I, I'm back in this thing. But see, the other thing is I'm not like all the rest of a lot of you young boxers out there. Your trainers are how they'll make you behave. That's not me. Um, I uh, uh, I don't like these people. I, I don't, the majority of the referees, I know when I say that, I mean ninety percent of them. I think are full of shit and ball at the professional level. Uh, that's a lot of them. Uh, you know, the vast majority of them, uh, maybe 90%, I'll say 75 Well, let's say 60%. And then I believe the other 40 are incompetent as hell. So there you have it. It's 100% almost not confident level. Uh, promoters, well, uh, Not all promoters. I'll tell you right now, there's one promoter I would send Joe to who has looked at Joe, who likes Joe. That's who I'm sure Joe's going to be with. Uh, but he's, that motherfucker's going to be walking on eggshells the whole time if Joe continues. And if Joe is as good as I think he is, and he's as good as what this guy thinks he is. Shh. Now I want to talk about a couple of promoters that I like that aren't that person. And it's one person. There's many people, but it's one person. Uh, the Golden Boy, I like because they uh, former fighters themselves. I, I like Mayweather, fighters themselves. Uh, not every guy, not everything, but... Uh, I genuinely believe as a, a whole group, they're trying to do well by most of their fighters. Uh, however, I'm just not very impressed with the promotions in general on boxing. I'll say 80% of them suck. The other 20% are incompetent. So there you have it. Uh, boxing media people. Uh, suck. Suck. Now, I'm not talking about online stuff here right now. I'm talking about the media groups that contract with the media companies to get these people in to be the talking heads. Uh, uh, everything associated with all of them is awful. They got the market cornered. Uh, no matter who you go with, you're getting a different group of the same fucking people. And that needs to stop. All right. The last thing is, I, we're not beholden to anybody. Uh, just as simple as that. 
in this day and age with everything open and the internet the way it is, they don't control nothing. And that's what you young boxers need to realize. And you're, whoever's going to be training, managing, or promoting you, if they don't understand that, you need to go somewhere else. You need to go somewhere else. And I'm going to tell you why. With all this media going on and this internet thing, all you got to do is just be beating people up. If you are winning left and right, and especially by knockouts, you know, if you got a high knockout percentage, they, can't, they ain't going to be able to deny you. There's no way. Uh, that shit won't fly today. It will not fly. Uh, you may be slowed down a little bit, but guess what? You're going to be all the better to get more than 20 fights before you fight a champion, no matter how good you are. Let me say that again. And let me put it a different way. You need more than 20 or 24 fights to be fighting for a championship. That will ruin you. And uh, if you got 40 fights under your belt, 45, and then you get a crack at a championship, chances are if you're active and you're fighting, you fight multiple times during the year like you should be, you're going to be able to grab a hold of a championship and hold on to it because the rest of these candy asses ain't going to be able to even hold a candle to you. See, these guys like to complicate things a whole lot. It's like a dumbass lawyer. That no, and, and newsflash for all you young folks out there. A lawyer is just a guy well versed in Latin terms. A dead language that's not really spoken any longer. And uh, if it wasn't for that, everybody could just be their own lawyer. And really that's the way it should be. Uh, there shouldn't be no reason to go get a, pay another man bukus of money to advocate for your freedom. I'm just saying. Or to protect you from getting your money stolen from a damn crook. I'm just saying. Uh, but they're just well versed. But, you know, promoters, managers, all these uh, networks, all this PPV bullshit, you know. Everybody just wants to talk about. Uh, nothing complicated about it at all. Zero complicated about it. If you can read, uh, you can figure this stuff out. It's not rocket science. So, to the two old farts, they keep bashing God. Keep bashing anybody that believes in God. Uh, go jump in the lake. You know, you, and, I, and I, look, I, I'm going to be offensive to you two guys now. You two old Jews, just go jump in the lake. You know, that would do the rest of us a big favor because, because God knows, God knows you're going to live. Uh, probably both of you sons of bitches are probably going to live to be over 100 years old, and it'll probably be 20 or 30 years before this world rids itself of your two dumb asses. Right? Because you're lazy. You both have had a good life. You've been parasites sucking the blood out of working people your whole lives. So you two ain't going nowhere too soon. So I just wish wish you'd be a good personal plea. You two old Jews should go jump in the lake. If you're Jewish, no offense to you. No offense to you. Uh you got two bad ones here. And if you were saying you two Christians go jump in the lake and it was two bad ones there, I would take zero offense to that. As a matter of fact, I'd be on your side saying that about those two Christians. Uh, enough's, enough is enough. These bastards run around. These media hounds, they do or say whatever they want. They want to shut people up. They want to shut good people up. It's time that we collectively tell them where to go.